every decision that you're going to make in your life is an investment with a cost and a payoff. Now, we can invest money externally in the stock market or real estate, but choosing to invest in yourself arguably carries the highest rate return on investment, especially when you're young. That's because for most of us, our largest single asset is our ability to earn a living. After all, the average lifetime earnings for an American is about $2 million. Of course, that's an average. But let's just look at some math to illustrate a point. So let's say your lifetime earning is $2 million. And you invest $5,000 in a course right, to learn a skill that's going to help you earn only 5% more. Now, your ROI is going to be $100,000 or 20x, right? 20 times your investment. Yeah, good luck getting that in the stock market, all right? But getting there means choosing your time and money to invest back into you. So let's start by looking at a framework to invest in yourself, right? You know, investing in yourself, it's usually done for any of three reasons. To create more money, to create time, to create peace, right? There are high leverage skills that work on all three layers, right? You've got meta skills. Now, for the sake of this framework, let's concentrate on the first one. Don't get me wrong. Some of the best investments, you know, like I've made have been to achieve, you know, twos and threes, right? Time and peace. But my view is that all three work together in a reflexive cycle that starts with having more money or at least enough money. Now, in the beginning, to make more money, you have to trade your time and or small amounts of money to acquire new skills that make you more money. When we're just starting out, we usually have time and no money. So we trade our time for money and gain skills that, guided by experience, make us more valuable. As we gain more money, we start to use that money to buy more time or convenience, which gives us more peace of mind or time to invest in our health and happiness. Once you attain a certain level, experts say this is going to be somewhere around $75,000, this process also works in reverse. Any wealthy person will tell you that investing in your peace by cultivating a calm mind, good judgment, healthy body, ends up making you more money and creates a better balance with your time. So let's talk about the ultimate you know, list of ways to invest in yourself, right? Because where do you start? Well, we're going to get into some steps that have been helpful and you'll break down common resistance points. But to get started, let's, here's a not a complete but a decent list of ideas categorized by, you know, investment frameworks that, that we just talked about. Right. So we've got, you know, the platforms really to learn anything. Right. These are your master classes, your skill shares, books, YouTube's uh you know, course RA, LinkedIn learning, right? Any of these things to really draw out and, and learn, you know. you There's just masterclass and YouTube have got to be some of the best ways to learn. I mean, it's free, you know, YouTube is free content, right? Anything you want to learn how to do, you want to learn how to invest, look it up on YouTube. You want to learn how to make a boat, look it up on YouTube. Woodworking, you know, gardening, cooking, anything you want to learn how to do, it's on YouTube for free. Then we've got those meta skills we were talking about, right? You know, the most important meta skills, right? Which is what makes everything easier, right? Now, when we're talking about this, we're talking better decision making, uh, you know, reading a book, investing basics, design thinking, improved communication, negotiating, you know, being mentored or coached mindfulness and stress management you're staying organized you know these things they're gonna they're gonna make things easier as you develop these skills right so you know you want to invest in yourself to make more money right now these are all, all ideas on how to make more money over the long term and all of these have worked at one time or another right so when you learn to invest you know, going back to school to learn or taking a risk management course, learn to budget, get a raise at work, become certified in something, right? Understand compounding and compound interest, right? Upgrade your resume to get a better job. 
Maybe you launch a, a, a product. You learn to build an online course that you can sell. Maybe you start a freelance side hustle and charge for your time. Maybe you're flipping on eBay. You just sell stuff you don't need, right? Then, of course, you can in invest in yourself to buy more time. Now, these are generally investments to making yourself to create better efficiency, right? To get more done or have more freedom with your time. Now, it's often easy to dismiss some of these as needless convenience. But if you can get past that resistance and see the ROI on your free time, this category investment, I feel like it has the highest payoff, right? Getting your time back. So, you know, you could try like superhuman email, uh, try to negotiate a four day work week, have an accountant, right? Get a virtual assistant. You know, figure out your effective hourly rate, pay for anything that costs less than your effective hourly rate, right? Maybe you take like a detox course, like a digital detox course. Uh, you could buy a bullet journal, you know, order your food delivered instead of having to go to the grocery store. You know, uh, while you are driving, right, use Audible to read on your commute, right? Listen, you know, move closer to work so, you know, less travel. Build a, you know, a home office. Maybe turn one of your rooms into your home office. Hire a cleaning service so you don't have to take those, you know, all the time out of your week or every day to do it, right? Having your you know, groceries delivered, you know, using a laundry service, you know, all these things add up, you know, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, 30 minutes here, you know, it's not an everyday thing. But if you look over, you know, if you were able to save yourself an hour or two a day over a week, you're ending up saving yourself an entire day. So then we have the last category, invest in yourself to create peace. Because let's be honest, <clears throat> We all need more peace in our lives, right? So we're going to talk about some ideas on how to use your time and money to cultivate more peace and happiness in your life. Ironically, studies have shown that being at peace can help you make better decisions. Better decisions always drop straight to that bottom line. You know, being healthy, getting healthy, right? Using your personal time off, right? Things looking rough, you just need to get away, you know, take a staycation, or you don't like where you work, change your career, take a sabbatical, travel, right? You could even get into meditating, right? Buy experiences, not things. Get organized, declutter your space, right? Insure yourself, right? Health insurance, life insurance, all those things. Keeping a journal, right? Not only optimizing your sleep, but just getting enough sleep, right? And learn how to start saying no more, yeah? Yeah? So there's so many things you guys can do, right, to invest in yourself. And investing in yourself is, is going to start showing dividends and better returns than you could see on anything else. And that's why so many people recommend the first type of investment you do is you invest in yourself. Upgrade yourself, right? So hope this, guys, you know, is really kind of like opened up, you know, the window, let some light in, sh show you guys like really... Don't worry about buying this real estate yet. Work on yourself, right? And, and things like that will come, right, when you're ready. But invest in yourself, and then you can go and invest when you're in a good place. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you did. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe.